It's day three here of VKWC and Fort Aventura. The wind is so strong and gusty, but I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> what? <laughs> If you don't make it through the second round, you are out of the event, so yeah, today means uh, go full on, uh, don't think about too much about the conditions and uh, yeah, pull the best tricks. One of the most anticipated heats of the day was the clash pitting strongman Mark Jacobs against the Brazilian killer Alex Nato. Struggling in the rough conditions, Jacobs wasn't able to repel NATO's deadly assault. Uh, freestyle didn't work out for me at this event, unfortunately, so uh, yeah, now it's time to concentrate on bigger. The wind was roaring in the competition zone for the eight contending women. Big, big crash from, uh, from Paula, like so big, it's so windy. In what looked like a final, Tour leader Carolina Winkowska took on Brazilian stunner Bruna Kajia. I'm really happy I won that heat. I mean, Carolina is a rider that I have so much respect for. I felt like, wow, this feels like almost winning like a competition because I know I'm going against one of the best riders out there. Now back to the hombres for the third round of competition here on Fuerteventura. Eight thrilling heats were scheduled as the riders fought for a place in the quarterfinals. In one of the tightest heats of the day, underdog Paul Saran foiled Eudazio da Silva's plans of success. Posito Martinez also had a great day, beating out Patrick Blanc and equally earning himself a spot in the next round together with many of the other top riders. It's challenging and it throws up some pretty crazy results sometimes. So, you know, in the end of the day, the world champion is the guy who can do the best over all the different conditions across the whole world. It's hard conditions, but you've got to make the most of it. Tomorrow's going to be a pretty spectacular day. I think the conditions here in Fuerte will We'll show you some proper bigger.